Welcome back to the channel guys. Okay, we've got a little project today. We're going to make ourselves an RF choke. So this is for the antenna feed of, for the CB radio. So this is going to operate on 26, 27 megahertz. And uh, yeah, we've got that components we need. Let's have a look what we got. So we'll put a, a link below or a description below uh, as to where we bought these things and what they, exactly they are. So first of all, we've got the installation box. Um, so this is what we're going to mount the things to. This is going to go onto the chimney uh, up on the roof there. So we want something that's weatherproof. Uh, we got a, a Type 43 uh, ferrite ring. Uh, type 43 will do the job nicely for us because we're only operating this radio on uh, you know, 27, 26 megahertz, so that's fine. Uh, some uh, some plugs, SO239 are they? A couple of sockets. Uh, some uh, some solder. Uh, some cable ties, and this um, high temperature resistant uh, silicon wire, so the 18 gauge wire. It's important to get the right wire, guys. Okay, so our first task is we've got to get 12 turns of the pair wires on this side and 12 turns on this side so this is going to be tight but let's have a go Okay, my next job is to fit these SO239 sockets, one on each, each end of the, uh, the box. Lovely fit. Uh, the largest drill I had um, wasn't quite large enough, so I just extended the whole little using one of these. Lovely, let's fit them on now. In fact, before we do that, it's probably going to be easier to solder the plugs on whilst they're off the box, so uh, let's do that now. But there we go guys, just made that. Uh, yeah, a bit of learning from this one. I'm going to use this one as the uh, one behind the radio rather than on the chimney. Um, reason being for starters, we've <laughs> melted the case so that uh, won't seal particularly well, I'm sure. Um, yeah, had some problems here, how to fix the uh, solder the uh, the joints here so uh, my daughter's Meccano set came in handy here <laughs> some nice clips on this side as well there we go there yeah so that's not too bad uh, for the next one I want to look at these screws as well I'm going to use these little bolts that I've used here I'm going to use, uh, use uh, four bolts four little bolts on each one so yeah a little bit of learning for the next one. But uh, right, let's get it plugged in and uh, see how this performs. Okay guys, so that's the RF choke in position on the back of the radio desk. Radios are up there. Okay, so we need now to test if it's working or not. Okay guys, so this is the antenna, the Serio. <laughs> Uh, gain master straight into the back of the radio uh, on the treble five and we've got s6 the occasional flashing of s7 this is pure noise 
as you can probably hear. Right, let's plug the filter in. And now with the filter in, we've got S6 flashing. So it has gone down slightly, the noise level has gone down slightly. Okay guys, another band. So this is 26805 FM and we've got an S3 with the RF choke installed, S3. Okay guys, and now the antenna straight into the back of the radio and we've got flashing S5 of noise. So it's definitely made a difference down there on that 26805. Quite a big difference on that one. Okay, and the, the UK legal uh, straight 40, channel 19, we've got a flashing S7 with the antenna straight into the back of the radio. Flashing S7, antenna straight into the back of the radio. And with the RF choke installed, we have we have a, a we have a, an S6. So it's definitely gone down when we put that RF filter, the RF choke in. Brilliant. So positive outcome on that one, guys. Uh, the one RF choke does make a difference, uh, albeit uh, a little. Uh, we are going to put a second RF choke up uh, up on the chimney there. So hopefully that will make uh, a little difference again. And uh, yeah. Hope you like the video, guys. Um, please do give us a thumbs up and a subscribe if you do. And uh, take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.